In this first video I am going to show you how to install Joomla on localhost. Why on localhost? Well, because I truly believe that a person who is serious about web development and Joomla should start exploring on localhost. It gives you much more freedom to experiment and to understand how a web server is working. To install Joomla you will need Apache, PHP and MySQL. As of today the easiest way to get them all together is to use XAMPP. You can find the version of XM on apachefriends.org. In this video I am not going to show you how to install XM. You can find a lot of good tutorials about that on YouTube just by searching for XM install. Now let us proceed with the installation. Go to joomla.org and download the latest available Joomla package and unzip it on your computer. I am not going to actually show you how to do this because I am sure that you are able to make it alone. When you are ready, move the Joomla files to your local host. In my case, the XM server is installed on local disk D in the XM folder. So I should move my files to local disk D, XAMPP, HDDocs and I've made a subfolder called GSF. Now all I have to do is go to a web browser and write in the URL localhost slash gsf. What you see right now is the installation screen. In the middle you can select your language for the installation. I will select English and I will click next. As you see the language have changed. Everything is now in English. In the second step Joomla is checking if your server is capable of running it. If all these settings are green then you should be free to go. But if something is marked in red then you are probably going to have problems. These settings at the bottom are not so important, but let us take the display errors for example. Since we are working on localhost it is good to display uh, PHP errors. Uh, this will speed up our development. But if we are on a live site then we should have them turn it off because a hacker can use them to review more information for our server. In the next step we are presented with the license agreement. If you want you can read it or you can just press next and go to step 4. This is one of the most tricky parts of the Joomla installation. A lot of new users to Joomla and to web development in general are having problems with this. What we do here is to give the data necessary to connect with our database. Well, first we should make a database for Joomla. Go to localhost phpMyAdmin and this is how it looks. Here you should write your database name, in our case it will be JSF. It is a good practice to choose a collation like UTF General C and then click uh, New or Create. So now our database is there and we go back to our installation. In hostname we write localhost. In username, since we're using XAMPP, it is most probably root. And uh, in the default XAMPP installation you don't have a password, that's, that's why we leave this field empty. And our database name is JSF. Now we are free to click next. The database connection was successful, and that is why we are presented with this screen. Since we are working on localhost, we don't write anything here. If you want to install Joomla on a web server, however, it is a good idea to write the FTP user da data here because this will save you a lot of troubles with the file and folder permissions on the server. So, let us click next. This is our main configuration screen. You can write a site name here. I will write GSF. Your email, in my case services at compojoom.com. My password, make sure to choose a secure one. Since you are, I believe, a beginner with Joomla, it's a good idea to install the sample data. It will help you a lot because it will fill your Joomla installation with some articles and modules. So I will click on this one. Now the sample data is successfully installed. If we are migrating from Joomla 1.0 to Joomla 1.5, we will have a migration script that we can use, but this is not part of this video, so I'm just going to click next. Congratulations, Joomla is now installed. Before we proceed, please 
Read carefully this here. Please remember to completely remove the installation directory. What you have to do is go to your Joomla folder and remove the installation folder. Just click delete. Now you should be able to view the front end of your Joomla installation just by going to localhost slash jsf. There we go. This is all for today. In our next video I will explain you the difference between the Joomla frontend and backend. Thank you for watching, Daniel Dimitrov, CompuJoom.com.